Hello, hello. Uh, it's a fun day, Monday. It's Confused Gamer. It's Jim on Tree. Um, I, um, I think I think the handicap that they've been given is something utterly ridiculous. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but it might be something foolish like um, workers only. Is that even a thing? Is that even a thing? I'm not sure. Uh, here's Confused Gamer down in the bottom right playing Zerg. Here is Jim Ontree up in the top left also playing Zerg. Jim Ontree is normally, he is normally a Terran player so I don't know if that's got something to do with it or what's going on really. Um, I just don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Um, they, did, they did tell me something in the uh, when they sent me the replay, it did mention something. I can't quite remember what it mentioned, but I have a feeling it was workers only. If it is workers only, this could be a very, uh, dare I say, a dull game. I don't know. Um, so, not much going on. There's nothing in production apart from a hatch. Um, but if you are playing a workers only game, does that mean not even any spine crawlers, no buildings? Uh, yeah, it will basically be. He who has the most workers wins. Um, so the Evo Chamber goes done. And uh, you're going to need some gas if you're going to be doing any upgrades. So uh, important to get some gas done as well as the Evolution Chamber. Uh, if this is going to be workers only, then it's just going to be whoever's got the most drones is going to clean up. Um, so you would very much need to make sure that you have several hatches. Um, you know, you don't have any tech to build, so uh, three hatches you need to be building workers off of. Getting upgrades is a good idea. Um, upgrade the melee attack, upgrade the carapace is probably the... Hmm, I don't know. Probably the more sensible option. Um, and uh, then it'll really come down to just who's who's got the biggest number of drones. And... Uh, I suppose a little bit of micro even in the mix. So the Evo Chamber coming down for Confused Gamer. Confused Gamer has got a spawning pool. Um, so is that going to be for Lings or is that just going to be so that he can turn this into a lair um, uh, then to get the uh, plus two upgrades. Uh, so additional hatcheries coming down for Jim Andre, which is sensible. Um, you know, if we look at the, the money up there, if all, you, if all you've got build is, are you not even allowed queens? Really? Who thought this stuff up? Um, not even any queens. So, uh, yeah, the more hatcheries you have, the better, really. Because without the queens, you you, you know, you need to be churning out larva uh, at a furious rate. Um, what I also note is neither of these players has got aggressive yet. Bearing in mind that uh, you know, well, I'm assuming that they know what their opponent is about. Oh, is this, are these guys going to go for a poke? No, he's just transferring those. Um, you know, if, if you focused on one drone line with twice the number of drones, you should kill the entire drone line and not really lose any. And you should be able to get out of there before reinforcements can arrive. I don't know, look at this. The uh, map is a bit of a mirror right here. Um, this is just a weird game. Why am I even casting this? This is just bonkers. Look, we've got a hatch going down here in the middle. Why not? Why not? Look at the money rolling in. These guys have got—they've got nothing to spend it on. Nothing they can do. Has got the lair upgraded, so we can get a uh, level two. You know, I'd like to see a pair of evolution chambers. You know, you're you're throwing down the um, the infestation pits so that you can get this up to a hive but you know what's the point where well, you, you need to have two evo chambers so that you can be researching these upgrades two at a time uh, in the production tab therefore we see that everything looks this looks remarkably similar uh, how often do you see this uh, zerg up to one two three four five six seven bases um and not a unit killed yet no uh, bloodshed look at, look at this Look at this. Realizing that the only way to turn um, uh, that's quite clever actually because without queens, um, without queens you can't spread creep. So actually having hatcheries ever, this isn't crazy at all. Um, you know you've got enough money, you, you should really be uh, at 200 supply. And once you're at 200 supply workers, uh, it's time to go mall in. Is this even allowed? Is it? I don't know. I don't know if it is. 
Something ridiculous is surely about to happen here. Uh, let's look at the units tab. 120. Look how, look how close this is. 126 workers versus 123. Um, but, but Jim on tree has got a big hatch advantage. So I, I just... It's frightening me to think about just how many workers he can build at a time. Look, uh, there's 20 larvae here, so you know, turn that into workers straight away. Uh, unless you are supply blocked, you're not. Um, you know, the throttle is open. Uh, now is the time to strike, really. You've got all these hatches. Yeah, you know, you've got no shortage of work of money. You don't really need to be mining. So quit mining. You've hit the 200 supply. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Don't don't give your opponent a chance to catch up. Um, let's see what's in the production tab. So level three carapace for workers is coming up. This is nonsense. But it doesn't have any uh, attack upgrades. Neither of them have any attack upgrades. That's interesting. So no attack upgrades. He's going for a worker drop. Look at this. Look at this. This is too much, man. Look just five taps vital workers <laughs> they're off is it gonna be a press trip dude come on do some attacking man this is this is ridiculous uh, the micro i'd like to see is mineral walking uh you know if you click your workers on the mineral patch they can walk underneath the other units so uh, really if you park these underneath these overlords can't actually unload you can run the workers through them by clicking on the mineral patch then hit stop um <laughs> This is literally, this is the worst game of Starcraft I think I've ever seen. What's happening up here? It's just a bunch of overlords. What is this? What am I watching, man? There's not really any point killing your opponent's workers. You know, look at the position you're in, Jim on Tree. You've got 10,000 minerals. Um, and you've got hatches everywhere. So, you know, you've got 69 larvae. At any time, you could turn all 69 of those into germs. So, to be honest, attacking your opponent's workers is kind of pointless, really, uh, because they can just respawn a whole new batch of them. What you'd be better off doing, really, is focusing on the buildings. Um, choose the right amount of workers to surround each one of these hatches. Uh, you, you know, you, I don't know how many workers it takes to surround the hatch. Um, but it wouldn't take you too long to find out. You've got a surplus of them. Um, and, you know, set that number of workers on each hatch, nibbling away. Looks like he is taking the fight, though. This is miserable to watch, isn't it? Literally miserable. Let's see if it gets any better if we play it at double speed. Um, don't need that. Let's zoom on. So as far as we get. Yep. Yeah, if we look at the supply, uh, we see that a narrow... Oh, momentarily there was a narrow advantage, but you know, a lot of these workers aren't up to much. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I can't help but think that this is the wrong tactic. I can't help but think that we should be focusing on the buildings. You know, most of these workers aren't even doing stuff. Um, I think you should be dividing up your force and just put in... You know, maybe 20 workers on each building. You have 200 workers, literally. So, like 40 workers in the production tab. Killing workers, just it's just not going to make a difference. Both players have just got so many minerals. That they can just they can hold down the worker button all day long. Um, yeah, what are the upgrades like? Uh, okay, so Jim on tree with plus three carapace. Um, meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, Confuse Gamer just on plus two. I don't know, man. This is uh, this is this is weird. This this definitely this isn't what Blizzard had in mind, is it? You know what I mean? All those like meetings that they had, all those years and years of development and all that uh, sort of beta testing and everything like that for this for this to happen, for people to be playing games where they only build drones. Hmm, this is just a bit disturbing, isn't it? Look, 20,000 in the bank, still at 200 supply. Uh, Confused Gamer has actually spent all of his money and needs to mine. But look, his workers are sitting about idle. Why aren't you mining if you need to mine? It's not like you don't have any workers. You've, you've got loads of workers, I think. Yeah, well, 43, actually, it's not... <laughs> Not so many. It looks it looks like it looks like Jim Ontree is gonna take this. <laughs> yeah. 
Yep. Yep. I think you're right. Uh, GG. <laughs> GG. Thank goodness for that. Glory to the drum revolution. My goodness. Let's, let's never let that happen again. GG.